So hello everyone, I am Dr. Pratyush Kumar and currently I am in University of Western Cape in Cape Town, South Africa for this wonderful Ubuntu 2024 conference. And with me, we have Chair of Rural Wonka, Professor Bruce Chatter. So first the introduction part. Yeah, I'm Bruce Chatter. i am uh, been the Chair for the last five years since uh, over COVID and I'm one more year up till uh, the Wonka conference next year and then over to you, Pratush. So it's pretty exciting times. This has been a really exciting conference. So, so yesterday we had our council ex executive meeting and today we had got Rural Health Assembly. So we'd like to tell something to our viewers that what happened in the executive meeting and what we really do in the executive meeting. Yeah, so in executive we try and make sure that Rural Wonka is a... Uh, an area that Wonka can be proud of. It's an organisation that looks after rural communities and rural doctors and rural family doctors, the broad church of, uh, of rural health. Um, and we try to make sure we develop good working relationships with all the other players in, in rural health, and we had many of them in the room yesterday. Um, academic centres, but also we're proudly at the front line of rural doctors. So we represent the communities we work in, we look after the doctors who we work with. Um, and today in the assembly, we actually heard um, the local doctors talk about uh, the issues that they face um, in influencing policy. We had policymakers there. And we also had an international contingent which talked about the issues that they have. And it's really about understanding your community and being able to advocate in a very sensible and um, uh, thoughtful, logical way, um, but also be able to influence the politicians. I loved... One of, the, one of the doctors from the Philippines talking about the best way of influencing policy was to have a barbecue with the politicians. And uh, you do have to influence at that level, but you also need to give practical solutions to the bureaucrats who are going to have to institute it. And, and I think that was a really good discussion around that. Yeah. Thank you. So all those who are listening and watching us, can you please tell us that why they should join Rule Wonka? Yeah, because we're there for you. That's what it's about. Um, it, this is a group of grassroots rural doctors uh, that is there for your interests. But if you want those interests looked after, if you want them to uh, change uh, rural health in the future, you've got to be part of it. We need, we need people from all around the world to step up and be advocates for rural health, rural communities, rural family doctors. And who all can be the part of Rural Wonka? Who all are eligible to be part of Rural Wonka? Yeah, so anyone can be part of Rural Wonka. Practically all the organisations that uh, uh, doctors are in um, are represented one way or other in, in Wonka. It's a big family of, uh, of rural doctors. But we actually, in Rural Wonka, um, we're very inclusive. So if, if your organisation doesn't have to be, it isn't part of Rural Wonka, then you can still be part of our organisation. We'll still be there for you. And we're also there for nurses in rural areas too. We've got two nurses on council now. Um, so we're, we try to be very inclusive and not set up any barriers to people being part of it. Um, so you don't have to check in to see, you know, is my membership covered or whatever. Uh, just, just come and join us. Um, and you never know, um, uh, your organisation might become an associate or a full member of, of Wonka and we'd encourage that. Um, but we're there for rural communities and we're there for rural doctors and we're there for other rural health professionals. Okay, so if you're working for rural communities, you're free to join Rural Wonka. There is no any separate membership fee for to join yep. Rural Wonka. Yep. And something to talk about the future of Rural Wonka, about our medical students and young doctors, because we have got rural seeds. And tell us more about this. Yeah, what we've done over the last few years is look at 
really three things, I suppose, in membership. One is making sure that we've got gender equity, so we're almost equal in our members, uh, male and female. Um, we're also looking at getting young doctors involved, and we've got a lot of young doctors now on the council of, of Rural Wonka. Um, but the other thing, too, is to recognise that if you're going to um, influence policymakers, you need evidence. And one of the things that we've been very proud of over the last 30 years is developing academic and administrative members, people who run health systems and provide the evidence on health systems. And that's really important to have them in the, in the tent as well. So um, we're very proud of our rural seeds. We're very proud uh, of our whole broad church, if you like, of, uh, of rural doctors. So Rural Wonka has produced lots of documents. It's all there in the Rural Wonka website. You can just go to ruralwonka.org to check all those things. But I'll specifically ask that recent works of Rural Wonka, which has really helped us to grow or really influenced policies globally. Can you just tell some about the recent Rural Wonka works? Yeah, I want to just reflect on our original works because our original works looked at what was the evidence um, for particularly recruitment into, uh, into rural practice and rural workforce. And it's been interesting to see how that has grown with recently the blueprint, but we're very proud that now WHO has taken a lot of that evidence and put it into their document. So their document, which is about recruitment and retention of doctors and, and particularly doctors, but other health professionals into rural practice, draws on all that data that we produced in the early days and have continued to produce. And that's why that academic side of things is so important. We're working with WHO at the moment in two areas. One is rural health equity and the other is rural health workforce. At this conference, um, we've got two sessions, uh, one on each of those, which will put uh, information back into the WHO pro uh, process to really change uh, policy worldwide. So after this conference, we have uh, just approved next Rural Wonka conference would be there in New Zealand in 2026. And in 2025, we are going to have a Rural Health Summit, which is Global Rural Health Summit in Bengaluru, India. So my question is like, uh, why we need to focus on LMICs and why it's important to have uh, their discussion documented and the evidence documented and why it's important to host a summit, especially yeah. focused on LMICs. Yeah, look, this has been coming in for a long time and been needed for a long time. Uh, a lot of the evidence, it's this 90-10 gap in research. A lot of the research is funded by and done in high income countries. And uh, uh, some of that is very applicable. Um, but we've, we've heard from our colleagues in lower and middle income countries, right since the start of Rural Wonka, that we need two things. One is to have discussions focused around that, um, but also we need specific evidence that comes from low and middle income countries. Because clearly, you know, some of the living conditions, some of the sanitation and things like that in small rural places in LMICs is quite different from a, a, uh, a leafy farm area in a, in a high income area. So, so the, the issues are different, the budgets are different, um, but the ethos is the same. And, and that's, so we wanna bring our ethos into it of being uh, very much devoted to rural communities but hear more from LMICs. We heard some today in assembly, which was really nice, nice to hear. Um, but Pratush, it's going to be great. I mean, that's that's uh, the the succession really is. You're the very first chair that's come from. Well, Ian Ian came in Cooper uh, from South Africa, it comes from a low and middle income country, but. But it, it is a bit further developed in some ways uh, than some of the other countries. But certainly having you as a chair now and able to, um, for when you take on chair after Lisbon next year, uh, be able to focus on that 
is is really good and you have my full support in that we need to take it just that little bit further with solutions for LMICs. So next year, we are going to have a Global Rural Health Summit in Bengaluru on 4th April 2025. And you're all welcome to join us there in the Bengaluru. And in 2026, we are going to have a full Wonka World Rural Health Conference in New Zealand. So any expectations from there? Yeah, look, I think it's just builds and builds. I, someone said in the, uh, in the council yesterday, after I'd given my report, this is amazing, you know, the difference that there is now over, it's a bit over 30 years, it's uh, 32 years since we started Rural Wonka, but the passion is still there. Um, and uh, I think uh, I'm really looking forward to this next step in Bangalore and then uh, to go from there on and have some further discussions in New Zealand at our own conference at that time. And if anyone wants to put a bid in for a conference in the future, feel free. Uh, we haven't got anything planned for 20 28 so uh, if you'd like to have a uh, a chip at that uh, we're, we'd welcome a bid at some stage thank you thank you so much so if you're interested to join rural wonka visit wonka website or rural wonka website rural wonka website is ruralwonka.org we also be active on twitter and facebook our id is at the rate rural wonka feel free to follow us and we are welcome any comments thoughts and you can join us thank you Thank you.